You are just moments away from creating amazing outdoor meals with your KitchenAid freestanding outdoor grill. If you have any questions or concerns during the assembly process, please call our customer service department at 1-877-373-2301. Before you start, make sure all the parts are included by going through the list in your instruction manual. You will also need a screwdriver, which is not included with the grill. Now that you have gone through the list, locate the bottom panel, swivel caster, swivel caster with brake, and two regular casters. Using four truss head screws with locking washers and four flat washers, attach the swivel caster and swivel caster with brake to the front of the bottom panel. Take the two regular casters and attach them to the back of the panel with four truss head screws with locking washers and flat washers. Take the tank bolt and slide through the hole in the rear of the panel. Secure it using the screw already in place on the bolt. Next, you will attach the side panels. Starting with the left one, attach it to the bottom panel using three truss head screws. Once complete, repeat the process for the right side panel. Locate the front panel. Attach that to the bottom panel using the truss head screw. Using the eight screws already attached to the front panel, connect it to the left and right panels. Now find the triangle brackets and hook them where the ends of the side panels meet the bottom panel. To do this, you will need to loosen the screws on the bottom and side panels enough to see the ridges. Slide the brackets over the screws, and then once in place, tighten the screws onto the brackets. Locate the gas tank heat shield. Place it on top of the grill and secure in place with six SUS screws. Now you can place the main burner bowl onto the grill. Please note that you will need two or more people to perform this task. Find two more triangle brackets, place directly behind the grill, and secure with the screws already in place. Look underneath the grill where the burner bowl rests on the panel assembly and secure the left and right side using two truss head screws. Next, you will attach the side shelf support brackets to the right side of the grill. To do this, you will need four truss head screws and four flat washers on each bracket. Place the bracket outside the grill and secure with the screws from the inside of the burner bowl. You will also need to use a SUS screw on the outside of each bracket. Repeat this process for the left side shelf support brackets. Now you can install the side shelves. Simply slide them over the brackets until firmly in place. Next, locate the two flame tamers and place them on the inside of the grill. No screws will be needed to set in place, so be sure they are resting comfortably in the burner bowl. Now you can set the cooking grids in place over the flame tamers. Locate the warming rack and secure it in place. Again, no screws are required for this. Locate the regulator and secure to the side of the grill with two SUS screws. Find the grease cup and slide into place behind the grill and then locate the electronic igniter module and slide it into place on the front of the main burner bowl. To finish assembly, place the fuel tank inside the grill and hook it up to the fuel line. Turn the tank bolt clockwise to hold the tank in place. Your grill is now finished and ready for you to start cooking.